Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You want to come out, huh? Yeah, I guess I can do that. You want to come out, pain in the butt? Come on. Come on. This is too hot to take you out today. Come on. Come on. Come say hi. <laughs> come on. You come out. Come on. Oh my gosh, you're so big. You're so big. Come on, you silly snake. Come on, you silly snake. Where's the other end of you? There it is. There it is. You made a big mess. I had to clean your enclosure. Yes, you did. You made a huge mess. Let's put this down there. There we go. Look how big you are, Chewy. Uh-oh, tail wiggle time. Somebody's hunting a girlfriend. Now, I know you're not going to use the bathroom because you just did in your enclosure. Huh. Yeah, you just went to the bathroom. Where are you going? No, we're not getting back in there now. We're going to hang out up here. You need some exercise. You and your big long self, you. What are you doing? Where's your fish? Boy, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I look bummy. I've been outdoors working today. What? Yeah. I get kisses all the time from you. You're such a good boy. Huh. Yeah, he's a good boy. You and your reverse gearing. Ugh. Ugh. I don't even know if I can hold your weight on my neck anymore with my bad back. We can try it though, huh? We'll try. We'll try it. It's it's awesome when your snakes work with you instead of against you, and they're gentle with you. No, you never mind straightening your tail out. You're not going to use the bathroom on my bed. And I know you're looking for a woman. There are no women here old enough for you right now. No, they're not. Nope. The only girl I got is awful young for you. Look at that tail going. Somebody's got an issue today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody's hormones are raging. That tail end's just flipping all over the place. You better pick your tail up before Lily decides to come batting that around. Oh. There. There. Oh my God, you're so heavy. You're crushing my shoulder. There. <laughs> he must go 90 pounds easily. He's over 11 feet. We got a measurement on him this summer. So he's definitely over 11 feet. Ugh. You're getting hard to pick up and move around. I'm gonna have to get me a man to come help me handle you pretty soon. You get any bigger. Yeah. This is the end result of having active snakes. They're pure muscle. Hey, why don't you come lay on my lap for a while and relax. Why don't you lay on my lap for a little while and calm down? Huh? Oh, That's a boy! That's like working out in a gym picking you up, child. I'm telling you. It's like working out in a gym holding you and lifting you up moving you around. You're lucky I still got it in me. Just barely sometimes, but I do. Oh, you don't want to pull all that stuff down over there, do you? No, you don't. You don't want to pull all that down. No, you don't. You got your tail back over here again. Wrapped around my leg now. Okay. No, you can't go knock all that stuff down over there. No, you can't. <laughs> Would you be still for two minutes? Be still for two minutes. So you crazy? So you must be crazy. Maybe be still for two minutes? Who loves you, kid? Who loves you, kid? Huh? Who loves you? So I want to get into everything up there. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You almost weigh as much as I do, Chewy. Yes, you do. You're my sweetheart. He's my sweetheart. Yes, he is. He's my honey. This is my soulmate. 
you're huffing. I know it's warm in here. Oh, It's all what you put into it. If you don't spend any time with them, you don't end up with snakes like this. You have to start them young and spend a lot of time with them for them to learn to trust you. And it's so rewarding when they do. That tail end's still going. I, I'm sorry. Jasmine's not old enough yet to make babies with you. Next year she can, though. That's what I got her for. You have a beautiful girlfriend next year. Yes, you will. We'll have some chewy babies next year. Some chewy and jasmine babies. Uh-oh, you just found the pastavi ball pythons. Okay. They're definitely too small for you. They're too small for you, but you can look at them. You're an elephant. You're not a snake, you're an elephant. I love spending time with my snakes out on my day bed. We sit here and watch TV for hours. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay. All right. All right. Where are you going, Chew? It's one of my favorite things to do. Just hang out and enjoy time with my snake. They're so amazing. I honestly feel that they're a better pet than most dogs and cats are. You realize you're big. You're very big. <laughs> you know, I'm 71 years old, kid. You're going to have to go on a diet. Or either I'm going to have to pack on a lot of extra weight to keep doing this with you. That's not true. Any energy I do have with my bad back, my snakes always get it. They always come first in my life. They always have and always will. Their quality of life means the world to me. It means more to me than my quality of life does. Yeah. He's such a handsome boy. You're going up my shirt. You can't go up my shirt. Oh, no, no, no kitties. No kitties. No, no. No kitty cat. You would definitely put a hurtin' on them if one of them came toward me while I had you out. He's very protective of me. He's chased strangers down out in my yard when I had him out there, you know, just hanging out with them in the grass and letting them excrete waste. Had a couple of strangers over the past few years walk up my driveway toward me and he went right after him. Grumpy's done it too, so don't ever think these animals don't have an unemotional attachment to you because they most certainly do. And they're not dumb, they know you're not a snake. But they can be very protective and defensive toward their handler. I've seen it, I've really seen it, and it scared the crap out of me they took off so fast after those guys that walked in the yard. I've never seen it happen before, and let me tell you, when they're upset, and they feel threatened, and they're in flight, they are really fast. So we can be something else if we want to be. And I'll tell you what, I don't care what anybody says. I've seen these snakes be protective of me. I've seen them chase people down my driveway that walk into my yard. And they will not let a stranger walk up on me outside in the yard. So I don't care what you want to believe. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I had to almost sit on top of him to do him after he chased that one guy out of the yard. The guy ran out of gas out in the road, up the road from my house, and came up in the yard to see if anybody had any gas for him for his truck. He, bad mistake, he walked right up on me and Chewy. Periscope stood up in the air. He had about a third of his body off the ground. He stood there and stared at the guy, and the guy took a few more steps toward me. And when he did, Chewie hit the ground and he took off like a bullet. I don't know what he would have done if he got to him. All I know is I intercepted him before he got the chance to because I know 
beyond any doubts in my mind, these animals have feelings for their handler. And these animals will protect you and defend you if they feel like you're threatened. And I had uh, three frostbit toes on my right foot uh, two years ago. I was on crutches for three months. And I was in the most excruciating pain I've ever been in my life. And my snakes, every single one of them, would not get on my lap. They would not get near that leg that my bad toes were on the foot of. They knew I was injured. They knew I was in pain. And they would not get on me until my foot filled up. So don't tell me these are dumb animals. I've seen too many things that says otherwise. And it's not what I want to see, it's what it really is. See, this is a snake tolerating being handled by me, can't you tell? I can't believe the crap some snake keepers spread around. Snakes are deaf. Snakes don't get attached to each other. Snakes don't get attached to their keepers. Snakes aren't social animals. These, this is all just lies, total lies. If you'd spend more time with your snakes, you'd find out the truth. And the truth is absolutely not what you're telling people. See? Yeah, he's tolerating me holding me. Well, I'm not holding him. He's holding me, technically. But this is what he loves to do. Look, here, look how hard he's breathing. He's sleeping. He loves television. He has his own favorite shows. I know it sounds crazy, but I have other friends that snakes do too, so I'm not crazy. He loves the nature channels, and he loves uh, sci-fi. He doesn't like cartoons. He hates cartoons or anything animated like that, but he definitely loves nature shows. He'll sit and stare at the TV for hours and watch them. Where are you going? You better run. Haven't you heard? You're just tolerating me holding you. People realized how dumb they sounded. Anybody that says stuff like that, all you're doing is signifying to other people that you don't invest very much at all, if any, quality time with your snakes because you don't know the difference. So I wouldn't be spreading that rumor around to too many people because there are a lot of us that know the difference. And the difference is they do love our companionship. And they do get along good with each other. Unless they're breeding, but that's a different scenario. The, te the miter's not on you. Just looking to see if my miter's on you. What are you doing? Hmm? He really liked Brian Cusco when he was here. He was amazed with him. He's such a sweetheart. He really is. You can't provoke this snake to strike at you for anything. I don't care what you do to him, it won't happen. No ashtray, no computer desk. And you have to watch them constantly because they can be sneaky. And they're hard-headed. They know what their boundaries are with you if you work with them enough. And once in a while, they'll still try and cross that line, even though they know they're not supposed to be into something or doing something. But they do test you to see if you're watching them and if you're paying attention to them. Like he just tried to very inconspicuously sneak over there and get up on the computer desk. And they know that's off boundaries for them. I don't allow my snakes through in electrical wiring around electrical wiring. I figured it was time for Chewie to come out. He hasn't been out in a month or so. Huh. I gotta come out and get... You're going right back to... What did I tell you? No computer desk. No. That's another issue I bring up. If you're gonna pick your snakes up off the ground or the floor, lift them up to do it. Don't drag them backwards because you're flipping those belly scales. And as wide as they are, I'm sure it's pretty uncomfortable for the snake to do that especially a big heavyweight snake like this. But when you lift them up off of something, pick them up to lift them. Don't pull them backwards. You can pull them back if you have the heaviest part of their body off the ground. 
but don't do that because it flips those belly scales and that's got to be a very sensitive area to them to have those scales flip backwards. I noticed that years ago. That That's what it, they're like flippers, they're, you know. And if you're pulling them backwards, you're flipping them in the opposite direction of their natural path. So it's got to be uncomfortable for the snake to do that. Just a little tidbit of advice. I see you watching them. <laughs> Make a nice pillow. You're cool. You're nice and cool. You gonna be my pillow? You gonna be a pillow for me? Don't get around my neck. People think you're trying to choke me and kill me. You gonna strangle me? Yeah. You gonna constrict me and kill me? You big, big ogre, you. <laughs> I'm getting a massage from him. You got a bad back, or you got sore muscles. There's nothing better in the world than to have a snake creeping across your skin and massaging your muscles. And it does work, trust me. I've got a bad spine. I've got a hurt spine damage. And it feels so good when they do that across your back. It's good for relaxing muscles. No, you stay up here. Apollo's thinking about messing with you. You go. You forget the snake. I love you. It's your community. I really wish people would grow up and act their age. You know, immaturity is the one downfall of the reptile community. You know, if you can't get your act together, at least keep your mouth shut because you're a bad reflection of people that do things right spreading lies and crap around about the snakes. So if you can't do anything constructive, just keep your opinion to yourself. That's my opinion. I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. Being negative is not productive at all for doing snake education. And being negative definitely isn't productive for giving people a good impression of people that keep snakes. So think about the damage you're doing when you're being reckless and careless with your mouth and your attitude. Oh Lord, he's constricting me. Oh no. Uh, am I afraid of my snakes? Not at all. Never have been, never was. There's no reason to be afraid of them if you treat them right. Unless you're dinner and you don't feed them regularly, you have nothing to be concerned with. Your tail, your tail twitching on my arm, Chewy, that tickles. Get your tail tip out of my armpit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You wanna get in your plastic coat and watch TV for, for a while before I put you back in your house? Huh? Hey, where are you going? You're huffing, you're getting warm. A lot of people mistaken the pythons huffing for hissing and that's not. They're very sensitive to heat. Okay. All right. Okay. You're okay. You keep on. I'm gonna put you back in your coat. Here. Let's put your towel back in here. Straighten it up. Here. Let's go back in. Let's go. And we go. Good boy. Good boy. Let's get back in here. I'll let you hang out on the bed and watch the TV with you for a while. There you go. All right. I'll set you up here and let you watch television with me for a while. I don't even know if I turned my camera on. I had it set up to record. There you go. You have to watch snakes with the uh, prehensile tails because they use them to grasp things. I can't count the times. One time I was coming in the house with him from outdoors through the front door here and the fan blew and hit him and the wind hit him in the face and he freaked out. He grabbed hold of the edge of the door casing with the end of his tail and when he did he pulled my feet right out from under me and I went down. I bruised a couple of ribs so you gotta watch the end of their tails because they can hold their whole body weight up by the end of that tail. Let's go up here. Oh my gosh you're heavy child. There we go. 